Here we go. Oh. Oh, rot roll. <laughs> the temperature just dropped a little bit. All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out at the range, the range lake. This is a really cool location, man. And, and today it's about 50 something degrees. They're expecting some winter weather this evening. And uh, that means that the mosquitoes are not going to be killing us until a couple months, <laughs> which I'm pretty excited about. Getting ready to go on vacation. And I'm excited about that too. But before we do that, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, this is a level 3A plate from the guys over there at RTS Tactical. Uh, they're right there in Miami. These are American and made, made in the USA right there. Now, these were sent to the channel for testing. Now, if you remember the last time I tested these things, uh, one of the disappointing parts that I felt about level three plates is that, uh, you know, five, five, six. It <laughs> sliced through it like Swiss cheese. So, in essence, why would you spend the money on level three AR500 plates when you know the stuff is just going to be filled with holes? Now, that's another part. Uh, secondly, and that also goes along with these guys, I'm not going to blow smoke up anybody's ass because this is a going to be a very real uh, test. We're going to take this thing, we're going to shoot it with just everyday ammo, plus i got a couple little surprises for you. Because, you know, you never know in that little bearish in the woods, you know what is level three plus, uh, plates on. So anyway, the other downfall, and I actually brought my set of scales out here for um, plates like this, is the weight. Uh, I would I would definitely tell everybody if you're gonna you know go ahead and buy plates I, I would go ahead and f and try to spend the money on uh, ceramic plates. Now these guys right here are seven pound twelve point five ounces. Uh, the other benefit of this, other than uh, the weight being bad, <laughs> it's not really that bad. So you got 17, 15 pounds of weight that you're going to be carrying in a carrier. Uh, the cost of these guys. Um, $90 a piece, $180 for a set. Uh, they've got uh, a deal right now with the carriers are $229. Uh, of course, I'll put the link down below. And I think there's a discount code of KB32. I'm pretty sure of it. Try it out. If it doesn't work, email me and I will let you know. So what we're going to do today, we're going to test this with a couple common rounds. Uh, 5.56 five, in both uh, 55 grain. Uh, 193 and then 855 the uh, green tips and then we're going to shoot it with some uh, AK-47 rounds 123 grain uh, Can't remember the name of it. And then of course, we're gonna shoot it with a 9 millimeter. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with some 45 Hit it with a 44 Magnum just for the fun. It's not supposed to go through but it's always fun to shoot something with a 44 Magnum and then I've got ladies and gentlemen At the end of the game the 458 SOCOM Let's see if we can just destroy this place. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to take this guy up to the uh, one of the big bays up there and uh, set everything up. Put a camera on this guy so you can see what's going on. Got a little mist going on. It's a beautiful day at the range. And boys and girls, if it ain't raining, you ain't training. No, it ain't training if it ain't raining. Man, I've been out a long time. See you up at the range. Here we go. Stand by. Here, man. <laughs> nice meeting you. Oh, all right, guys. Got a boy 32 here. Check it out. So I just want to give a real quick shout out to my new friend. I met up here at Mifflin County Sportsman's Association, Ted. Ted, thanks so much for uh, sharing your fun and experience with me. And uh, good luck in uh, zeroing in those 22 pistols. Man, it's a lot of fun. I've run into Ted a couple times up here and we just had an opportunity to chat. All right. So here we go. A uh, couple more things about this. Um, I want to tell you, uh, for people who already know this, spa protection. Uh, this has a kind of a rhino covering kind of thing on it. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, very similar to the stuff that I sprayed onto those uh, plates a long time ago. I tried to make my own spot protection. Don't do that. Go ahead. If you're going to order steel plates like this, spend the extra money to go ahead and pick up some spall protection. It's a big piece of coating. And what that does is when a round hits this, you're going to get explosion without the spall protection. Now with spall protection, it captures the exploding spall. A lot of times we'll demonstrate this. I'll put balloons up here with a smiley face on it. First round, douche, balloon's gone. And the reason being is all that spall goes straight up. So in other words, what's going to happen is it's going to catch you right here. 
Okay, so you can understand where the importance of not having steel hit you in the jugular or in your throat. So anyways, I wanna make that point clear. What we're doing here is we're going to test this thing out. I'm gonna shoot it, we're at 20 yards. I'm gonna have camera set up on close and we're gonna do some slow motion. Hopefully it works out and it don't kill my slow-mo camera. So anyway, we're gonna shoot it with uh, 5.56, 7.62 by 39. We're gonna hit it with some 458 SOCOM just because I think it'd be fun. And of course, <laughs> I know that's probably not gonna penetrate it, but everybody loves a 44 Magnum. So here we go. Let's go ahead and set this thing out there and shoot it. Stand by. Whew. All right, we're getting some cloud cover over here, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this thing, turn the hat around. Let's put some big glasses on because I don't know what kind of spa we're gonna get out of here. I wanna go ahead and start off with the AK-47. Again, we're just shooting some, uh, I think this is some Tiger, uh, Leopard or whatever it is, <laughs> 123 grain. No big deal. I'm using an IMI mag, so I'm not sure how good this is gonna go. Here we go. Woo! Go ahead, clear that. Now, in most cases, an AK-47 is going to not penetrate even a level three, in my experience. Let's get down and set this plate out. Here we go. All right, well, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Uh, a little bit, something hit here, but we've got complete separation of whatever that film is. So let's go ahead and hit it. I'm gonna aim low, because I think we hit high. Stand by. All right, here we go. got something that time. Let's go ahead and put this thing on safe. Put it in there. <laughs> okay, so you guys are seeing this. There's some steel sticking out of the side right here. Uh, got some more separation up here. I, and a little bit of bulging in the back. Huh, interesting. Let's go ahead and hit it with some 193. Stand by. Okay, so right now what we're doing, this is the uh, what is this, the Lead Star Grunt. Now, I'm running a two times prism scope from the guys over there at Primary Arms. I haven't sighted this thing in, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we will hit this guy with some integrity. Where the hell did my damn magazine go? Oh, here it is. So this is the M193. Here we go. Let's see how we did. Stay by. Okay, so again, zero penetration. We are seeing some deformation in the coating, uh, but not a whole hell of a lot's going on here. And guys, I'm at 20 yards. This is an impact here. We got some spalling trying to come out right there. Uh, the camera will tell us more. I'm gonna put it on the slow mo. You're seeing it before I am. So let's go ahead and try the XM193 or <laughs> 855. Stay by. All right, so here we are, man. We're gonna do some uh, 855. <laughs> it ain't gonna go in that way. <laughs> there we go. All right, same thing. I think we did all right there. Let's see how we get. That's some big ass geese. All right, so here we go. 855 penetrators, as you can see. A lot of separation off the back right here. Uh, a lot off off the bottom. I haven't seen anything go in. If I, I haven't hit the damn thing, I, I don't know what's going on. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'm not hitting it. But I can't believe that all that steel and everything's in, going in here and this is not penetrating. Look at that. Uh, so now, it's time to have some fun. Let's see what a 458 SOCOM will do to the steel. Won't penetrate it, nothing else is. Let's see if we can dent it. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is fun. Uh, so these are, uh, I can't have my glasses on me. Good Lord, I'm blind as hell. Underwood, these are, oh, it's not, it's Underwood, not, I'm looking for an A. All right, so these guys, these are 350 grain. They're moving at 1,600 feet and 50 feet per second. 
she's cooking. The cool thing is, is that I'm using it on top of the lead star lower that I just uh, shot with the other one. And the cool, <laughs> absolutely wonderful thing, uh, it just cycled a lot back the way it was supposed to. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put it to the test. This is gonna be fun. I hope it's on target. Here we go. I don't think we've seen it rock tires like that yet. Let's get on down there and check it out. Stand by. Okay, we figured it pretty much, it wasn't gonna penetrate it, but look what it did. It totally delaminated the whole thing. It looks like everything I'm shooting at is hitting down there, as you can see. Uh, but man, let's aim a little higher. <laughs> Shoot it one more time. And then we're gonna hit it with some 44. See how that works. Stand by. All right, we got one more round. Let's do it. Aim a little higher. Here we go. Oh. Oh, rot raw. <laughs> the temperature just dropped a little bit. Oh. All right, so I decided, because of safety reason, uh, let's do it from back here. <laughs> what are we shooting? These are the Fiocchi uh, 230 grain, big boys. All right, so here we go. I don't even know if I'll hit the thing, but if we do, Problem is I can't see the sights. Oh shit! All right, we're done. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's it. Um, let me go get the plate. Okay, so here we are. Um, the last hit, check that out, man. Nice little deal. I'm gonna save this thing. Probably need to wash it and wash my hands with some uh, lead wipes, but that's what the inside of that protection looks like. And then that's what the uh, steel target looks like. Uh, I, the most impressive part about this, I'm not worried about shooting it with 45 or nine millimeter. If it, if it will stop a 5.56 five, at this 20 yards, uh, yeah. This is not bad. The only downfall about this plate is it is a steel plate. It is heavy. So you're gonna have to deal with carrying the weight. But at the end of the day, your vitals up here, if you're lucky enough to get hit right here, you'll be protected. That's it. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, 704 Tactical does a pretty good video on this thing, uh, as well as uh, Guns and Gear. Uh, I'm real impressed. Uh, again, I'll put the link down below. Take it over there. Try to use the KB32 TAC for a discount code. I think these things are $90 a piece and uh, go for there. With that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It's been a while since I've been out on the range and started shooting, man. I'm having a blast. Got the Banshee and 45 ACP right here. And uh, I was actually gonna use it because I got the Rare Breeds trigger that we're gonna stick in this thing and see what 45 ACP looks like going down range multiple rounds at a time. It's Boy 32 If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom's not free. And for those men and women in uniform who don't support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers, you're going to have a, a lot of these in front of you one of these days. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.